Hey guys, David here, and this video is brought to you by Hedaro.com. Today we're going to learn how to read a CSV file by column. And I'm going to show you in a few minutes what I mean by that. But before we get there, let's start by importing pandas. And um, once pandas is imported, let's let me show you what version I'm working with. All right. Now that we have that, I'm I'm about to import a CSV file. Now, this is a CSV file that I already created um, before this video started, and I have it currently saved in the same file location that I'm running this notebook. So, let's go ahead and read it. We're gonna use the read CSV function and we're simply gonna pass the name of the file I think I called it sample.csv let's hope alright that was it so it's a very simple CSV file and it has three columns first column is gender second column is name and third column is age and if you want to take a quick peek at the data frame we just created it'll tell us we have 20 rows and obviously gender is of type object name is of type object that means they're they're basically just strings as you can see there and then age the third column is an integer you can see there are a bunch of numbers all right so great what if we wanted to read in the CSV file but by a specific column and there are times when this is very useful you're reading a file and you don't need the whole entire file sometimes files have many columns and it's just too much to work with sometimes you only need one or a few columns to actually get your job done so it would be nice if we could just read in a small subset of the columns so if we go over here and you type shift tab you're gonna see a parameter called use columns and this is what we're gonna this is the parameter we're gonna use to pick the exact columns we need and this parameter accepts a list and inside the list you could actually just type in the name of the column you want to pull in so let's start with gender and if we run this you're gonna see that we read the CSV file sample.csv but we only read in one column and we used the gender column there's also another one called age and the other one was called name now note that here let's go back here and let's rerun it because I need to make sure I have these column names correct before I move on let's save it here for future now let's go back to um, this okay so let's say we want to pull in the name column which is the second column so we put name here and we run it now watch what's gonna happen it's gonna go burp it can't get it and when we go down to see what the error is use columns was trying to find a column and it couldn't find it and it was looking for name but we know that there is a column called name but I know this file and I know that for some reason the name column has a space right before the end and then now when you run it it works and the same thing happened with H there's a space right before the, um, the letter A but but if you know since I knew this I could pull it now I, br I bring this up because you have to be careful when you read CSV files you really don't know how they're created if they have weird data quality issues with them but um, just know that you might encounter something like this now what if you're like I don't really know the name of the columns or they're really long and you don't want to type them in but you know the location you know it's the first column or you know it's the third column you want 
Now, is there a way for pandas to do that to pull data uh, depending on the location of the column? Well, good news, there is. If you type in zero here, you're gonna get gender. If you type one here, you're gonna get name. And of course, if you type two here, you're gonna get age. And of course, you can mix and match them. You could be like, I want the zero um, column and the third column, which is two. You run it and you get both of them. No, I actually wanted the first two. So you could um, put multiple values here under use call columns, and you could also do it with um, typing the actual names of the columns. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that next time you're reading a CSV file, you make use of use calls parameter and make your life a little easier. Thank you for watching.